really well. And she could take me to go get ice cream. Hey, how rude. You guys already have a big sister. Are my efforts not enough for you guys? Uh, I feel so unappreciated. This is so unfair. Uh, oops, um, I didn't mean to forget you, Sissy. I know you're our big sister, but Sugar Boy did it. Excuse you. You were the one who came up with the idea first. Uh, well, it doesn't hurt to have an even bigger family. I mean, a big sister could drive us places and, you know, do lots of big sister stuff. Yeah, then we could have two big sisters. Well, extra help is never a bad thing. So, how do you guys assume we can go about getting this big sister? I can help with that. Hey everyone, it's Cupcake here. Today, we're gonna make another attempt at an OMG sister. Yep, the Sugar family is gonna have two big sisters. Now, we could totally be overly confident with this. Just because it worked out the first time doesn't mean it's gonna work out the second time. It, it could definitely be a fail, but we're still gonna try it. Our first OMG sister was Bon Bon's OMG sister, and I left it to you guys to name her, and you guys chose Bonnie. So we're gonna try and attempt to make a big sister for the Sugar family in our very own OMG style. And we're gonna do that using our duplicate Royal Bee. Hey guys, so does this mean I get a haircut? Yep, yep, it does mean we have to cut this hair off. And don't worry, don't panic. I know cutting any doll's hair off is kind of like a panic moment for me too, but once we get all of her new hair rooted back in her head, you guys will see it'll look so pretty in her very own way. So enough with the long intro, let's get right to it. We're gonna start this makeover party with a haircut. Okay, so we got all of this hair off and you wouldn't believe it. I mean, I knew she had a lot of hair, but this much hair, she almost broke my scissors. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dunk her head in some hot water just to soften up the plastic. It'll make it easier for us to pop her head off and then it'll also help soften up the glue that's holding up her hair plugs in place. Once I do that, I'm gonna go in with a tweezer and pluck out and sometimes even with OMG Bonnie, we can remove the hairs from the top. So that made it a whole lot easier instead of having to go through the tiny little neck hole. So we're gonna do that super speed. Well, that's, that's a lot of hair. Okay, so we've dunked her head in the hot water for a couple minutes, about 10 minutes. Whew, that is hot. But it is super easy for me to remove now. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Swoosh and a swoosh and a swoosh. Woo! Oh, her head just popped completely off without warning, but that's good. Her neck plug did not break. Here is how the OMG neck plug works. It was quite a surprise the first time I saw it on OMG Bonnie, cause it's different from a Barbie neck plug. Anywho, now we should be ready to remove the hairs with a tweezer. And since it's soft, it should be easy. Now that we have all the hair off and we've got a smooth, nice head, we can start painting our sections and that'll just help the hair look more fuller and it'll disguise any of the bald spots that show through the hair that we're gonna reroot. Plus it also acts as a guide. So I'm gonna do this side blue and this side pink just like the rest of the family. 
I'm gonna use some good quality paints and mix these up. We're gonna create pastel colors, so I'm gonna use a lot more of my white and a little bit of the pink. I'm gonna dilute this with some water. That'll prevent the paint from being chunky and clunky. And mix this up to see if this is the right shade of pink. Okay, so this looks like it's the perfect shade of pink. Now I'm gonna take the blue and space it out a little bit and do the same. Mix it in with the white. And we've got our blue. So going down the center of her head, we're gonna add the blue side and then we're gonna move on to the pink. And we are ready to start rerouting. I'm gonna use my rerouting tool to get some hair off of these wigs and place it into each of the sides. So I'm gonna use the pink from this wig and the blue from this wig. To do that, all I need is some scissors. I'm gonna take a section from the wig and right from the root, I'm going to cut it. When rerouting doll hair, it helps to wet the hair instead of rerouting dry hair. So I'm gonna spray it with some water. That way it's saturated and much easier to work with. Now taking a little bit of hair at a time, I'm gonna scoop it up with my rerouting needle. It's a two-headed needle, so it helps make it easier to scoop up the hair. And voila, she's got her first strand of hair. The rest, we are gonna do super speed. Let you know 
through vibrations of me Wouldn't let you go if you left me Wouldn't let you go if we're standing miles apart all right, so we have finished rerouting finally, and uh, what did I learn? I always learn something new every makeover. Royal Bee's hair holes are much different than Swag's head because they are so, so tiny. I broke so many rerouting needles on her, like five rerouting needles, I think six. Man, oh man, but am I happy that she is finished. Well, at least with the rebooting process. Now what I'm going to do is get some fabric tack glue in her head to glue all of that hair down in place. We're gonna get a good amount in there and swish the bottle so we can get it on each angle of her head. I'm just gonna swish it around a little bit. And then I'm going to let her sit like this for about two hours to get that fabric tack glue to harden and dry up. After that, I will be dunking her hair in some boiling hot water. And remember, do not try this at home if you do decide to make over any doll and you have to use anything hot or sharp, be sure to get the help of a grown-up. I don't want you guys hurting yourselves or burning yourselves for anything. But while we're waiting for her hair to dry, we can start working on her outfit. I'm going to fold this fabric piece. Now, I'm not the best at sewing, so the thing with me is when I sew, I usually end up making things a little small or a little big. So measurements is my downfall. Once I've got this folded on itself, I'm going to pin it down because I need two of what I'm about to make so the fabric doesn't move around. And using a pattern that I made for the OMD dolls, I'm going to trace this out on the opposite side of the fabric, so not on the pretty shiny side. Okay, now I'm gonna start cutting this, and before I do that, I'm going to pin these two pieces so they don't move around. Once I've got the pattern cut up, I'm going to sew it. Whoa, this is heavy. Okay, so now I've got it all sewed up and I'm gonna flip it over and using a pencil, that should help us do that a lot easier. Okay, so here is the front of her top. She's got a sweetheart neckline. I'm gonna need two more pieces now to make up the back. Using the same steps as last time, I've got a pattern for the back and I'm going to trace it on to the fabric. Now this is gonna be cut into two separate pieces. Now instead of sewing these edges, I'm going to smooth them down with some fabric tack. Alright, and now I'm going to sew the back pieces and the front piece together. Now to get everything to stick together, I'm going to add Velcro strips to the back. We've got a spiky side and a fuzzy side, and the cool thing about these ones is that they have sticky backing. So one side can go over here and I'm gonna stick the spiky side and the fluffy side together. 
so I can get a perfect fit for the other side. And to really secure these on here, I'm gonna put them through the sewing machine. Now this bottom part is fraying like crazy because we didn't do anything with it. We didn't seal it off with fabric tack or anything. That is because I want to seal it off and close up all those stringy parts with this pretty ribbon. I'm going to use some fabric tack and secure it all along the bottom part. Now I'm going to make her a bow using this really pretty blue ribbon that I think will go perfectly with OMG Sugar. I'm just going to need to sew a little bit over here to put the two pieces together. I'm going to do the same for the other side of the bow. Now I'm going to take a center piece and wrap it up and Fabric Tac will help me with that. Here's how the top looks on. Before I get the bow onto the top, I'm going to do a couple of other steps while I have it on her. I'm gonna add some extra accents to the top with some ribbon, and I wanna see how it looks before I do it. So I'm gonna do a piece like that, and it's gonna go around her arm, so it really helps to have it on her. I'm gonna try not to mess her body up with any fabric tack, but yeah, I want it to go around like that. I'm gonna start over here in this corner and move on up to the side, pressing as I go so it sticks into place. And then I need a little bit of glue over here. Now with the thread and needle, I'm gonna add some tool sleeves for her. Okay, so her top is done and her skirt was kind of an accident. I just put it on her to cover her up while I was making the top and I'm actually really liking it. I like the contrast of the colors and how they go together and as you guys know, OMG dolls, some of them are a whole lot different than their little sister. Lady Diva looks nothing like Diva. You wouldn't even be able to guess that's her sister, but we're gonna make OMG Sugar look like her family but also have a different twist. So I'm gonna keep this spotted skirt. This is actually from Lady Diva. We're just gonna borrow it for our OMG sugar. Now using this fabric, I'm gonna make her some socks, kind of like Uptown Girl. I'm gonna start by rolling up a piece of it and that'll be the top part of her socks. And then I'm gonna shape it to her leg. Once I've got the right shape, I'm gonna cut this part out and sew it on her.
take Royal B's boots and I'm gonna turn them into some high heel pumps for sugar. It's now the time to dunk her head. Her glue has dried fully. It's been more than two hours. So we're gonna dunk her head in some hot water and tame her locks. And we're back after the boil wash. Look how nice her hair is flattened out. It's really pretty and straight. So now I'm gonna give her a haircut, but we're still gonna keep it long because you guys know I love the long hair on my dolls. I'm actually gonna put her head back onto her body first, and then we can tell way better how much length we wanna take off. Alrighty, okay, so now we can see that she has very, very long hair, and I wanna keep it up to maybe where her knees are. So we shall cut. For her hair, I'm thinking about doing some finger waves in the front on each side. And to do that, I think we can accomplish it with some gel and some clear Elmer's glue. her a headpiece out of this stuff called a warbler. It's moldable plastic. I've got it heated so we can shape it into whatever shape we want and cut it up. So I'm gonna make her a halo headpiece because why not? She can be kind of the same as her family or different, but I really like the signature sugar halo headpiece. I'm gonna get one on her big sister. And now that I've got her headpiece ready, I can paint it. I'm gonna do the traditional gold.
Now finally we can do her face up. This is the most fun part, but we have to save the best for last. I'm gonna change her eye color to the blue color that Sugar Family has. For her hair, I'm going to do one more extra step. I'm thinking if I put her hair half up, half down, it'll be a lot cuter. Kind of like in a top knot or just a half up ponytail. So it looks really cute, but I'm going to sew the bun down a little bit just so it's a little more in control. I'm going to use Royal Bee's existing earrings and I'm going to put these cute rainbows on them that match the bag to sugar. Okay, she is almost done. Our final step is to seal everything in with some matte varnish. Mom, Dad, can I go to the mall by myself? Uh, sweetie, I please. I promise I'm responsible and old enough and I know how to drive now. Oh yeah, we're so going to the mall. 
Um, I said by myself, not with you youngins. Well, uh, sweetie, technically you don't drive. You have a permit. And if you go to the mall, you're going to have to take your siblings with you. Wait, what? No way. Come on, Mom, Dad. I can go on my own, and I promise nothing will happen. Well, sweetie, being an older sister has a lot of responsibility, and your little brother and little sisters want to go with you. Yeah, please, please. You're so pretty. Can you take me to the mall with you? Did my kissing up work? Yeah, yeah, you're the prettiest sister in the whole wide world. Please take me to the mall with you. Yeah, we're going to meet up Spice Boy at the mall. He's going to go there today, too. Oh, well, okay. I guess you guys can go play with your friends at the play area and I can hang out with my friends. That's my big girl. Well, the Sugar family's gonna be going to the mall with their big sister that they finally have. We've got OMG Sugar. Well, I don't know what we're gonna name her, so I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. Cupcake Junior says we should name her Candy. So you guys vote in the comment section what you think we should name Sugar's OMG sister. So let's take a look at what we did with her so far. We rooted her hair blue and pink, just like the Sugar family. And we gave her a half up, half down do, and curled her hair. Let's take a look and give her a spin. So we used our curling iron on the lowest setting so it doesn't burn her hair and gave her these beautiful spiral curls. And on the front, we gave her a finger wave type of curl. It gives her a very classic, pretty look. We made her a halo headpiece out of some warbler and painted it gold. Onto her face, her face is so pretty. We kept the OMG face. Just went over it with some sugar themed colors. She's got ombre eyeshadow, a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue. Changed her eyes up to blue color. Gave her some cute white freckles, just like the sugar family. Changed up her lip color. I think that lip color looks so much prettier on her with this look. And we used Royal Bee's existing earrings and gave her some cute little rainbow earrings. We made those out of sculpting clay. She's got little cute stars on them too. I sewed her up a new top and she's got some pretty puff tool sleeves with some blue cuffs and a little bit of pink accents on there. Some trim. Borrowed Lady Diva's skirt because she looks so much like an OMG sister with a little bit of animal animal print because you know our OMG big sisters like themselves some animal print. Borrow Lady Diva's purse, made her some custom socks and customized Royal Bee's boots into some pumps and painted those pink, gold and blue. And we sealed everything in with some matte varnish. So now the Sugar family has an even bigger sister and a bigger family. If you guys had an awesome time making Sugar's OMG Big Sister, give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to join the fun. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what we should name Big Sister Sugar. And the one that I see the most is the one that I will announce in my next makeover video. Alrighty, that's it for now. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.